Hey everyone, this is Toy Ninja from ToyGander.com and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing two Gundam action figures. And I will be the first to admit I know absolutely nothing of the Gundam genre. I've tried to get into it, um, I just, I, I can't understand it, it's over my head. But uh, I did find these guys in uh, Barnes & Noble, I just looked over in the toy section, I, they really stood out to me, so I thought they were really cool. This guy in the smaller series, they had quite a few of these guys. Actually, they had all of them. <clears throat> but I didn't really like any of these. This guy really stood out to me. His uh, spherical body, he had like crab-like hands. Really thought he was cool. And then, as far as this red guy goes, this red guy I thought was by far the coolest. Uh, I They had these two, this guy right here and this guy right here. Um, weren't, nah, okay, but um, I wanted this guy. Unfortunately, they were all sold out of this. Either way, this red one is super cool, and I think his name is Rick Diaz. I'm not 100% sure. If you do know, uh, please put it in the comments below. But I'm excited about this, and uh, without further ado, grab your safety scissors, because we're going to take a gander. All right, so we're going to start off with a smaller one. I just got to pull tab. Oh, he actually articulates. Oh, whoops. He doesn't articulate too well, I guess. Hopefully I can put it back in. Yeah, okay. So these just pop out. That's good. Wow. Uh, don't pull too hard on the arms, because they will fall right off. Arms falling off the side. This is a, a pretty detailed character. Like if you look at the claws, you know most like finely smaller uh, toys like this, they tend to be really like dull at the end on the ends here. And if you look at that, that's really sharp. It's great te detail for a small toy like this. really thin pieces here which is cool because they you know they don't balloon out and you could tell that these right here these are all separate pieces from this inner piece which just makes it that much more intricate I don't know what this is right here there's two blue things Oh, I see. They're like supposed to go on the top there. I think. Oh yeah. Looking at the top of this. Alright, so let's open this guy next. I'm hoping that this guy holds up a little bit better. He looks a little bit more solid than that smaller guy. Wow, very cool. You know what, uh, this is exactly, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's his fist? What? Why is his fist in there? That's weird. He's got one right here. That is really awesome and just something about the, the f I can't describe it, like the, the finish or the plastic Coating. It's not shiny, it's just got a matte finish, and it just really looks like a solid piece. It's got nice detailed writing on here, and if you look really close, his 
and you can see his eye right there, or eyes. I can't see what that says on. Oh, yeah, these these pieces, not for playing, not really for playing. That is awesome. All right, let's put the rest of them together. And hopefully, I can guess how to do this. I am slower than the average bear, so usually I cannot figure out this stuff. Maybe if I just, uh, look at this. Okay, pretty simple. Probably. Maybe. Okay, so it looks like that goes like there. We've got interchangeable hands. Isn't he special? There's something in here. Oh, he's got additional weaponry, I think. Let's show this. Oh, this goes on, I think, the back right there. <clears throat> oh, like that. Well, there you have it, guys. These Gundam characters are super intricate. They're also super delicate. And they're not like, uh, they're not a toy. They're definitely like a model. Uh, they're very, very unique in that way. Uh, if you want to play with them, I would recommend probably super gluing them together. Although I'm sure there's tons of people out there that would kill me for saying that. Um, but all I would say is, I don't, I wouldn't want to lose any of the 100 pieces that come with it or that break off of these things because they're so cool. I would hate to miss any pieces from them. Uh, not like most American toys or models. Very unique. They come off very unique. They look very unique. Very intricate. They look awesome. But um, very, uh, very cool. It was, it was awesome for the first time opening one of these things and, and really not knowing what to expect. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you did like it, please subscribe to our video, our channel. And until next time, you can help us take a gander. Hey everyone, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to our videos. Don't forget about our monthly drawing where we give away free toys. The details and descriptions are below.